it's Nancy from the Dover Town Library, and I'm here with another week of super awesome fun time at home. All of us from the library really miss you, and we wish we could be doing super awesome fun time at the library. But all across the state, all across the country, and all across the world, people are making an important effort right now to stay home, stay safe, and help stop the spread of the coronavirus. So each week we will be bringing you super awesome fun time from our own homes. It's going to be fun. Some of us live with pets that you'll get to meet. In fact, today, Mr. Jim will be reading a book with his pet, Hunter. What kind of animal is Hunter? I'll give you a hint. Hunter looks a little like this. What kind of animal is this? You're right, it's a dog. You'll get to meet Hunter the dog in a few minutes. But first we're gonna start by singing Ram Sam Sam. Ready? This is Angie and Nancy. We're going to sing Ram Sam Sam and we hope that you'll follow along with us from home. So get your hands out, here we go. Here is my dog Hunter. Hunter and I thought we would read you a story today. This story is called The Seals on the Bus by Lenny Hort and illustrated by G. By Brian Carras. This one is sort of sung to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus, but because it's full of animals, it's one of Hunter's favorites. So let's start. The seals on the bus go erp, 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 erp. The seals on the bus go erp, 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 all around the town. The tigers on the bus go roar, 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 roar. The tigers on the bus go roar, roar, roar all around the town. The geese on the bus go honk, 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 honk. The geese on the bus go honk, 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 all around the town. The rabbits on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The rabbits on the bus go up and down all around the town. Ooh. The monkeys on the bus go eat, 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 eat. The monkeys on the bus go eat, eat, eat all around the town. Ooh, now we've got the vipers on the bus go hiss, 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 hiss. The vipers on the bus go hiss, 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 all around the town. Ooh, now we have the sheep. The sheep on the bus go ba, 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 ba. The sheep on the bus go ba 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 all around the town. What's next? Ooh, oh, the 
skunks. The skunks on the bus go s The skunks on the bus go s all around the town. P.U. Ooh, and now the last one. The people on the bus go help, 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 help. The people on the bus go help, help, help. All around the town. Oh, that was great. Good job, Hunter. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Hi, everybody. It's Nancy and Angie from the Dover Town Library. And we're going to do one of our favorite finger play rhymes from Super Awesome Fun Time. And we'd like you to do it with us from home. Uh, this one's called the Clap Clap Song. And the way it works is you start by clapping as slowly as you can, then as quickly as you can, and then we'll do more action. So get your hands out. Ready? Yeah. Clap, clap, clap your hands slowly as you can. Clap, clap, clap your hands quickly as you can. Roll, roll, roll your arms slowly as you can. Roll, roll, roll your arms quickly as you can. Shake, shake, shake your head slowly as you can. Shake, shake, shake your head quickly as you can. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet slowly as you can. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet as quickly as you can. Bye. And we're going to do one of our all-time favorite finger plays from Super Awesome Fun Time. Um, yep, you guessed it, we're gonna do Baby Shark. Everybody get out your Baby Shark and you can sing along with us. Ready? Yep. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Brother Shark, do, 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 do. Brother Shark, do, 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 do. Mama Shark, do, do. Do 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 do, Mama Shark. Do 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 do, Daddy Shark. Do 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 do, Daddy Shark. Do 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 do, now we're swimming. Do 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 do, from the shark. Do 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 do, Hi everyone, it's Melissa with another super awesome fun time art activity. Have you ever tried painting without a paintbrush? It turns out it's a lot of fun, and what you do is you just find objects in your house you'd like to try to paint with. I walked around my house, and I found the following. A crumpled up piece of recycling paper, some cotton balls, some Q-tips, and a piece of wax paper that I crumpled into a ball. I have my paints all ready, my page on my table, and my apron on, so I think I'm just going to get started. What you're going to want to do with this kind of activity is just explore, kind of see what different textures are made by different objects. So if I wanted to see what my piece of recycling paper looks like, I would dab it into my paint and kind of just pick a, a spot on my page and paint. Maybe just dabbing a little to see what kind of shapes it makes, maybe do like a pattern, and I can always go and get more paint with it if I want. So we'll do that a couple times. I think I'll try a cotton ball next. I'll use pink this time. We'll see what the pink looks like. And the idea is to just try different objects besides a paintbrush. You might not have these specific objects at home and that's okay. Maybe you have a bottle cap you wanna try using to paint, to stamp on the page. Or maybe you have a foam brush. You know what a regular brush does with paint, but you might wanna try something different. So with that, I think I'm gonna try a Q-tip next. I'll take green next. Q-tips are fun because you can make different lines with them. And maybe you could play around with that. See how long lines you can make. 
or see what different patterns you can make with your Q-tip using dots. All right, and then my last thing is my piece of wax paper. I think I'll use a little bit more pink for that. And I think I'm going to use a different motion. You can also try using different motions and see what they do. Take a look around your house and see what you can find. Until next time, we'll see you soon on Super Awesome Fun Time. Bye!